shake 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 caboodle fans welcome back to my channel today we are going to use the crayola sprinkle art shaker to finish these pages this is everything we're gonna need of course the shaker beads we've got blue pink yellow green and purple lots and lots of glue so we've got these glue sticks that we're gonna put on these pages and then we're gonna put it in the crayola shaker shake it up and then we're gonna see the final result let's get started first things first we're gonna open this up so we've got two little buttons right here that we press on each side here we go we've got these rubber pieces and what you do is you slide your image so it's going to hold it when you start shaking it let me turn this this way because we need to put some glue on it so you don't want to put the glue everywhere you want to start with your first color Let's open up our glue and I'm gonna start with the color purple. So everything that you want purple, you wanna put glue on. So let's just get started. This is gonna require a lot of glue, isn't it? So her whole entire dress is gonna be purple. And down here, all right, we don't wanna get those flowers because I want those to be in the pink color. Gotta be really careful here. And also this flower. That is it for where I want the purple beads. Okay, so we're gonna use these beads right here. We're gonna go ahead and twist off the cap. And then very carefully, I'm gonna twist it on this little section right here. So the beads are gonna fall out. Don't forget to shut this. And now we're gonna empty the beads and start shaking. Oh my goodness, look, they're already sticking to the glue. Okay, we need a lot more beads than that. Shake, shake, shake. Want them to go everywhere. Okay, once you're done, you wanna go ahead and tap the beads and then tap them all the way down and kind of shake them up. And then we're gonna put them back into that little bead container. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna very carefully open this up again. Want any of the beads to spill back in there. Okay, let me take this out. Okay, this is so cool. Look at where the beads went. Everywhere that we put the glue. Seriously, you could use the shaker for any image that you want. It's so awesome. Now that we have the purple, let's do the pink. So we have a pink flower that I'm gonna do right here. We also have these awesome flowers right here. I'm also gonna add like dollops of glue right here and maybe this flower too. Those are all the spots I want the pink to be. We've got a perfect pink right here. It's kind of a pastel one. Let's go ahead and twist that open and very carefully Put that in the hole. Let me go ahead and shut that. Let's go ahead and empty out the pink beads and start shaking. <laughs> wow. All right, that's it. Let me go ahead and remove all of the extra beads that we don't want and remove the bottle. Such an easy cleanup, I love it. All right, Quill fans, that's it. Then you can carefully remove your image. All right, here's our Isabella. We have the light pink beads on top. We've got, oh, they kind of went all over right here, but how awesome, I love how it turned out. That was our first image, let's go on. We've got the power trio, Isabella, Mirabel, and Louisa. And here they are, which one is your favorite? I don't know, I, I like all of them. Let's go ahead and open this up, put our image right here. This one's gonna have a bunch of colors. I'm gonna do this whole word power in blue. So again, let's go ahead and put glue wherever we want the blue color. Last R right here. What else should we do blue? I'm gonna do this butterfly in blue too. Now let's shake. Let's do the blue beads. Go ahead and put these in. Don't forget to close. And watch them fall down. Let's shake it up. Oh, look at the power already. Cool. All of them in there. Not a single one wasted. Perfect. Oh my goodness, look how cool that looks. Plus our butterfly turned out. Now which color should we do? I'm gonna do Louise's in purple. Let's put a bunch of glue on her shirt. 
And of course, Isabella's dress is completely purple. Mirabelle's earrings. And that is all I'm gonna do in purple. Close that up, shake that up. All right, I'm getting a workout from this. This is what our image looks like. I guess the purple has some green beads in it too. So we've got specks of green. And then it went on the power as well because apparently we didn't put enough blue on there. We've got a bunch of areas in pink. Like we have Louise's wristbands. We also have like the bow in her hair. Isabella's flower in her hair is pink. And then I'm gonna do dollops of glue. I'm gonna try to be very careful with these. Mirabelle's butterfly is also pink. And this trio, I'm gonna do completely in pink. It's gonna look really cool. If you guys don't know what trio means, it means three. Okay, let's pick our pink color again. Go ahead and put it in there. Shake, shake, shake. Let's take a look. What do you guys think? We still need to add yellow. Where can we add yellow? There's a yellow butterfly right there. Inside of this trio, the O is yellow. Do that, this butterfly. I'm all done. I've put yellow in different spots. Let's go ahead and open it up. And funnest part is the shaking. Here we go, our last color. I'm just gonna pull this out. I like it how it's gonna be textured with these beads. Here are two images all finished. Now I'm gonna let them dry. I hope you all enjoyed this sprinkle art shaker. I can't wait to do other images. Have a fabulous day, you guys, and stay sweet.